Welcome to Crocodile Joel's Wild World. Thank you for buying the new Reptarium. I've worked with reptiles all my life. I've made it fun and exciting for you and your pet. So first of all, let's check your kit. See what you've got. You've got a backdrop. This is the lid, the sliding lid. Okay. Substrate. Right, now we've got everything out of the box. This is the most important part is to check what's in the box, okay? Now, this is how I like to do it. I like to, you must make sure that you've got 18, 18 connectors, okay? Six straight pieces, okay? And then there's 28 curve tubing. There's the sticky pads, there's a locking device, there's the thermometer, there's the water bowl, there's the hide, there's the heat mat, microclimate thermostat, and there's a the substrate. So let's start putting your reptarium together. We'll start first with the backdrop. I put two bits of cellar tape on just to stick it on. You, you might want to get your mum and dad to help you with this. Backdrops are really important for a snake because in the wild, they'll be hunted from above. So I've put the backdrop on to make them feel secure. Hey Joe, what if you don't have a backdrop? If you didn't have a backdrop, it can actually lead to stress problems and behavioral problems as well. Yeah, yeah, he's right. Okay, next we'll have the thermometer. And this wants to go Pretty much about there. Next is your heat mat. So simple, all this. I've designed this reptarium. The heat mat won't burn your snake. It's got a shelf, which your heat mat just slides underneath. It's at the correct distance, so simple. If you notice, you've got a groove. You've got a tiny groove. There's your groove. This probe just goes into there okay and what we've got to do we've got to put some sticky pads your sticky pads onto here okay I find it just goes nicely nicely on there like that these two components work really, really well together. The thermostat is to make sure that the heat mat never overheats and burns your reptile. Right, let's get onto the tubing. So, we're on with the fun. This is the best bit. This is the straight tubing. It just clips together. Them two little things, they go together. Watch this. Yeah, they go together. You get a connector push it on just push it on nice and tight same the other side okay you might need an adult to help you with this okay let's do the curve tubing put the grooves in together once you have a click in it's really secure so crack on with the rest so here we have the the tubing this is one of the straight ones obviously one of the one of the bends so it just connects on like that. Just push it on tightly. Okay. The probe, the probe actually wants about four or five inches off the wall. Don't have it on the wall. Just have it hanging off like that, so as it can take an ambient temperature, room temperature. Now, if you notice, this one's got two more connectors on the inside. The connectors go on the inside. Okay. That just pushes on. Really easy. There's another two here. They don't have the connectors on either end. They just fit in. Like that. There you go. This connector, this tube, this has two connectors on either end. That just fits on. So, now you can do the other side. It makes it really, really fun for the snakes. Okay. That's the last one on. 
The most exciting part about this reptarium is the tubing. Snakes have hunted in burrows and in logs for millions and millions of years. I've actually done this process and gave the animals exercise, something to think about. And it's also excitement for you as well. Okay, so let's move on to the substrate. This is an important part because it soaks up all the wheat and poo. Yeah. <laughs> As you do, just tip it in. Just tip it in. Must be about a centimetre. This is a five litre bag. Make sure it all comes out. All right, and then spread it around. Next one is your hide. It's really important for your snake to have a hide because it makes it feel safe. In the wild, the snake could go in to a rock or into a log for its own protection. Water bowl. Your snake needs to drink water and sometimes it will go in it as well. Do you mind? I'm having a bath. It's really important though that you change your water every day. You've got to change it every day because it helps with thermal regulating. That just means get warm and get cold. But who would like to drink warm water? Not me and nor would your snake. So folks, use cold water, use it every day. So let's move on to the lid. Let's move on to the lid and the locking device. Okay, that's it. The lid just slots in, nice and easy, which won't injure your snake. That's why I designed my reptarium, so as your snakes won't get injured or escape. Before you put your snake in, you need to check your thermometer. Make sure it's reading 75 to 80 degrees. Now, to stop it from getting any warmer, you need to set your microclimate thermostat. You might want to get an adult to help you with this because you need to use a screwdriver. You set it to 80, 80 degrees. Okay, once doing that, just fit securely back on with the little pads provided. Okay, so now you've got your snake. Now's to introduce him to his new home. I'm using one of my corn snakes but you can actually use king snakes, rat snakes, milk snakes, corn snakes, any modern day snake. Put him in and let him explore. Let him explore his new environment. Ooh, I do like it in here. That's in there. Make sure the lot goes on. Ooh, I do like these tubes. Oh, thank you, Joe. This is marvellous. For further tips, go on to crocodilejoes.com.